in Health and Wealth, a warning about staying invested in your eyesight. Joining us now is Dr. Felicia Timmerman. She's a pediatric optometrist at Cooper Vision. Good to have you here, doctor. And I understand that myopia is becoming more prevalent, including for children. Yeah, absolutely. So we're seeing this prevalence across all ages, but that's really where it's concerning when it comes to children, just because the earlier the development, we know the faster the progression. And of course, those higher levels of myopia potentially later on in life. But speaking about that prevalence, it's actually projected that by 2030, 50% of the North American population will be living with myopia. So this is concerning. And you know, what we can do for treatment is really just going to our annual eye exams to be able to get that diagnosis at the earliest possible. And when it comes to children, we want to make sure to diagnose them so that they can be seen clearly in their everyday lives, but also so that we can treat them at the earliest possible too. The FDA just approved a treatment. What can you tell us? Yes, so it's a single vision contact lens, MySight One Day contact lenses. And what this is, is a daily disposable contact lens, meaning a fresh pair of our contact lenses every day. And it does two benefits for the child. One, it's going to allow them to see clearly in their everyday lives, just like they would with glasses or standard contact lenses. But also through its innovative technology, it's also able to slow down that progression of myopia. So that means you're not gonna be seeing changes in that prescription are as big as changes year after year. And that's going to have a huge benefit for these children. Yeah, so that's going to have a huge benefit for these children because we know that we can lower that final level of myopia when they become an adult and also lower some of those ocular risk later on in life that are associated with myopia. What are some of the causes and warning signs of myopia? Genetics, of course, plays a role in the development and progression of myopia, but also the lifestyle that we're living. So on those near devices that increase screen time, either on tablets, computers, and cell phones. So we definitely want to limit that as much as possible for recreational use, as well as increase our outdoor time for our children. So it's recommended to have children play outdoors for one and a half to two hours a day, because we know that's a protective factor to either delay or prevent the onset of myopia, as well as we're also finding an association in being able to slow the progression of myopia. Now these children, some of the warning signs that you're going to see is squinting or having trouble seeing out in the distance or stating that they have headaches or fatigue overall. So those are definitely signs that may prompt that they are living with this condition. Well, thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time and attention to this great topic. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.